often use LumaFusion's Multicam Studio in scenarios where we have more than one audio source that we want to keep in the final edit. Like for example, an interview. The scene might look like this. Two cameras, each with a microphone attached. In this case, we use Multicam Studio to switch between the two shots as those on screen start talking, where we can see the audio switches along with the video, ensuring we hear quality audio from each person speaking. In Multicam Studio, you can do this with up to six different cameras, all with their own visuals and audio. Now that's a lot of switching and syncing potential. There may, however, be scenarios in which you don't want the audio to switch at all, instead preferring to just use one quality audio file that plays throughout your multicam container, regardless of how much you switch between the visuals of each camera. This is where the primary audio track comes in, a track purely for audio files, which when filled will automatically, as a courtesy, mute the sound of the video tracks below. By placing audio here, you're telling LumaFusion that this audio is dominant and should be heard throughout your edit. You can choose if you like to unmute one or more tracks if you need, if you have sound that needs to be heard along with the primary audio. Back on the timeline, with any use of the primary audio track, our multicam container looks a little different to one without, which wouldn't have this audio track beneath. This is there to remind you that all your clips are synced to one core piece of audio which is playing throughout, that of your primary audio. Let's now look at a few use cases of when we might need this feature. A good example may be if you're filming a speech, panel discussion or presentation. For your multicam edit, you've carefully placed your cameras around the room. All the footage from those cameras at the end of the talk is loaded into the synchronizer. But in this case, the audio from the stage is key. So we grab the recorded audio from the sound desk captured with the microphones on stage and bring it into the primary audio track. Once the files are synced in the usual manner, this video will be ready for switching and you'll see no matter which camera I switch to, the audio from the sound desk will not be cut when switching between cameras. So we can switch easily between the various shots capturing the best visuals while keeping only the quality audio from the stage presentation intact. Another use case might be if we're recording a cooking tutorial. We have one core audio file that will be playing throughout the sequence, which in this case is the chef presenting how to make his dish. Adding this primary audio to the synchronizer will mute the audio of the other cameras. And now we can switch and see the cooking process play out as we hear our one quality audio file. Or finally, perhaps we're filming a music video where we've got a band performing to their new single. In this case, we want the quality version of the song captured in the recording studio to be played on our edit with our videos of the band playing or miming along to be seen. In this case, in the primary audio track, we have the official high quality recording. And in the tracks below, we have the multiple clips which have been captured with six cameras to the band miming along. Once synced, switching is easy, with, again, us cutting only between the visuals and not that all-important primary audio. Before you edit your multicam masterpiece, have a real think about whether your edit requires the use of the primary audio track or not. Remember, any audio you add here will be dominant and will play regardless of which camera you switch to, so use it wisely.